Hey everyone, KP here. Um, hope everything is all right. Just wanted to take the time to share uh, some information with on this post. So came back not too long ago. I had a late start this morning and I actually took my daughter with me. Um, so I had to cut the walk short. I didn't walk as, um, as long as I would normally walk because, um, you know, these young ones, they can't keep up. Nah, just kidding. Just, you know, she's pretty good, but, um, you know, you'd have to build her up to something like that. Anyways, um, didn't get a chance to report yesterday, so making it up today. Word for the post is jog or jogging, all right? So jog is the word. Um, to run at a steady, gentle pace, especially on a regular basis as a form of physical exercise, all right? That's jog. So it's not walking, it's not running, it's between. Um, you're not, you know, running hard or you're not moving, um, yeah, you're not doing a hard run. You're just lightly jogging, usually bouncing along type thing, right? That's a jog. Um, and um, normally when I'm, you know, going out, I do, I, I start off with a walk and then I merge into a jog. I may do like, you know, a, a running uh, or may, I may move from the jogging to doing like a run, like a slow run, but running definitely faster than a jog. So I try to do all three. Sometimes I just walk. Sometimes I just straight jog, right? That type of thing. But yeah, you can, um, you build yourself up to jogging, okay? All right, let me share some um, little health information here from the CDC. You know the CDC giving us all types of information as it pertains to COVID-19 and vaccinations and all that sort of stuff. Well, they actually give us some good information about what we need to do in order to um, prevent diseases and to prevent sicknesses. But the world that we live in, a lot of times, you know, we are used to um, bad, or we have bad habits and we, you know, we gravitate towards the bad things a lot easier. So, you know, eating unhealthy foods, not exercising, living a sedentary lifestyle. So we're gonna talk about sleep. Um, the CDC says this, uh, good sleep habits can help you get a good night's sleep. I'll put this in the post. I'll share this in the post so that you'll have it. And all of us are guilty, including myself, of this, what, not getting proper rest, but you know, you try to do better. Be consistent, go to bed at the same time each night and get up at the same time each morning, including on the weekends. Very guilty when it comes to the weekends. Make sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, relaxing, and at a comfortable temperature. Yeah, I don't, I don't like light. Anyhow, there's light when I'm trying to sleep. My eyes just won't, won't shut. If I'm really, really tired, then I'll just fall asleep and whatever. Remove electronic devices such as TVs, computers, and smartphones from your bedroom. Yeah. Um, you definitely do that. You know, especially don't, don't try and watch TV and then jump in your bed. Right? It's going to take some time, right? Usually, um, I'm not too sure what the length of time is when you're um, engaging your devices. Uh, but I'll share that information next time. Avoid large meals. Hello, somebody. Avoid large meals, caffeine, and alcohol before bedtime. Get some exercise. Being physically active during the day can help you fall asleep more easily at night. That's the CDC. I will post it so that um, you can see it. All right? Take care of yourself. Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry. I forgot the steps. So yesterday I did about 24,000. Um, yesterday was... Tuesday and Monday, I did um, around 19, almost 20, all right? So let's go, let's keep it going, all right? And um, you're trying to get fit and stay fit, stay fit, all right? Uh, take care of yourself, man. Until next time, it's KP.